going to see next with Eye on the Desert. We're back tonight at 11 for Nightside. If you have some time, join us then. KPSP Local 2's Eye on the Desert is presented by the McCallum Theater. It's more than entertainment. It's the McCallum. Now, live, KPSP Local 2's Eye on the Desert with Scott Hennessy. Good evening, hello once again. Welcome to Eye on the Desert. Let's get started by having a look at our community calendar, some events going on around town. The 7th Annual Live Chef Auction, benefiting the Pendleton Foundation, is tomorrow evening. It begins at 5.30 at the Miramonte Resort and Spa in Indian Wells. Guests will have the opportunity to bid on 20 of the Valley's finest chefs to have a private meal prepared for them. All proceeds from the auction benefit local cancer patients. Tickets can be purchased at the PendletonFoundation.org. The General Patton Memorial Museum is having its 23rd Veterans Day ceremony Friday. There will be special exhibits, four aircraft flyovers, a raffle drawing, chili cook-off, and Chuck Miller and his band will perform. The ceremony gets underway at 11, plus on this day there is no admission charge for the Patton Museum. Get an early start on holiday gift shopping at the Etsy Craft Show Saturday. All items on sale will be handmade, original, or vintage pieces. Etsy is an online global handmade and vintage marketplace. Saturday's event is an opportunity to see the goods created by several local Etsians and buy there on site. It's at the Hilton Garden Inn in Rancho Mirage from 11 until 4. Remember, please visit us online, kpspmobile2.com, anytime you want to check out the community calendar. Ted Quinn is one of the most frequent players in the high desert arts and music scene. Quinn hosts an open mic night every Monday at Pappy and Harriet's. He has a radio show on Z107.7 FM, and he is the president of the Morongo Basin Cultural Arts Council. Quinn is also an accomplished musician himself. His band, Rock Art of Joshua Tree, is releasing a new CD this Friday called Sunburst Golden Border. It's pretty surreal and kind of dreamlike. To the soundtrack of the song Star Children, we asked Quinn how the desert influences his music. I think it's huge. You know, the, uh, the openness of the desert, of the high desert especially. There's just a, a real feeling that you're uh, under this canopy of stars. You, know, you get the vast horizons and the, the sunsets and the moon rises and things like that. And there's just this openness and this kind of unlimited possibility sort of feeling. And just in terms of the community itself, Joshua Tree has really drawn uh, artists of all kinds from all over the world, including my collaborators here, Ravi and Kripa, who are from South Africa and England respectively and there's uh, just people from all over the world that have been drawn to this place I think with that same feeling that there's like un unlimited potential for um, uh, self-exploration and there's plenty of alone time but there's also this great community of art and artists and musicians. to the world's largest marine base and something that I've found. I also host open mics in town and something that I've learned from being kind of a, um, a peacenik maybe growing up in Los Angeles and in the era you know, the, that I grew up um, and moving here and meeting a lot of these young people who are in the military and finding that once we sit down and play music together that we have a lot more in common than, than not. Always feeling that communication and art and music can uh, break down barriers and that's probably the message of our music more than anything.
find Ted Quinn on Facebook and in Pappy and Harry's in Pioneer Town every Monday night where he hosts the open mic night. When we come back to Eye in the Desert, we'll introduce you to the watercolor chef, Leslie Adams, who combines her love of cooking with her love of art to create stunning watercolor paintings that she'll be showing at the Rancho Mirage Art Affair this weekend. You're watching Eye in the Desert.